This video is about a new project that involves construction, solar, batteries, a hobbit house, and just figuring things out along the way. We have a bunch of solar panels, and I've been debating for some time now what to do with them, how to best utilize them. When you think about solar panels, you have these large rigid structures. Why not also use them as a roof? How about creating kind of a an open structure that has gravel underneath so you can walk underneath it and then under part of it we can build a little house. I have a five-year-old kid and uh, he would love a house of his own. Maybe even put like a little garden shed in connected to it somehow. And then of course the solar panels on top. 12 of them is what I'm thinking right now. Okay, very rough sketch, but you get the idea. Okay, so we're having a delivery, another delivery, a bunch of deliveries coming for this project. Um, they're gonna bring out the truck. Um, in the shop here, we have a couple of things already. Some rigid insulation, some long uh, two by fours, I believe some of these are 10 feet or 12 feet, and we have OSB. Okay, we got some fast setting concrete. Windows just came too. So the grass has all been skimmed, but now the next step is to dig a whole bunch of holes so that we can secure the post and put concrete in the holes. So we're going to start digging the hole in the very back and then measure out from there and that's going to go down two feet. This is the Virginia soil here, so it started as clay, very, very red, and now the further we're going down, the more sand um, is in the dirt here. So if you want to create a solar array, there are obviously systems that you can buy, structures um, to secure the solar panels to. Now there's a couple of issues with that. First of all, they're quite expensive. And secondly, um, they require a lot more concrete because they're now using like thick wood. Um, they need more concrete to secure them in the ground. Um, and then of course, you don't put a house under those as well. So this, this whole project started out primarily as a solar array and now has moved on as much to the playhouse underneath. Uh, so those are kind of like both equal parts in this now. Well, I'm foot, five foot eight, and this is 10 foot. And these are really, really heavy. You know, when they're pressure treated, they add a lot of stuff into the wood, so it makes them even heavier. So first post is in, plumb and level, and then the next one, we're gonna work on this this guy right here. Because of the angle of the structure here now, this one will show six and a half feet, so we could either dig extra deep or we could cut off the posts, probably cut off the posts. Okay, so let's talk angles for a second. The idea here is obviously higher posts in the back and lower posts in the front to create an angled roof, like a shed style roof. Ideally in this situation, with solar panels facing the sun, you should have a rather steep angle. But that would mean we would need to buy longer posts than 10 feet and suddenly everything becomes a lot more expensive and more difficult to mess around and build with. So we're working with 10 foot posts. And we want the shorter side of the structure to not be so short that you can't walk under it. That means we'll have an angle about 15 degrees. Not absolutely ideal, but workable and we'll fit a house under it in a reasonable way. Okay, let's take a look at where we ended up today. So half of all the posts are in the ground. Second day of digging posts lift and hold at the same time. So basically since half of this is done now this is going to be the footprint of the house which is actually kind of large. Yeah. This is the door so you go out in the door so you can kind of get an idea of how high it is but then it's going to be up on these so up and then there's going to be insulation on top of that um, so we're going to be risen up a bit so it's not going to be as like high this way it should be just like perfect enough to walk in here. Uh, we have a door and we're going to chop it off because it's not going to fit to be otherwise.
This is the corner post at the end. Don't let go. So we're, the whole structure is gonna be 24 feet. The very last hole. And once all of these holes have been dug, it's not the end of the digging because then we need to dig a trench from here uh, to the shop. And the trench needs to be about like two feet deep. Uh, and in it, we're gonna have a big pipe with a lot of wires. Um, and there's roots and stuff, so that's a lot more digging. And they're also gonna put in a grounding rod in the corner over there, and eight foot down to a direct lightning into the ground. Now the only reason why I'm even considering doing a, a solar array in conditions that are not completely ideal is because I want to take advantage of that power and funnel it into batteries. It makes, gives it a lot more flexibility. So here uh, if you're looking at what's going to be the future battery bank. Currently we have six batteries set up here with this Sun Gold power inverter. So this inverter um, can accept like 122 to 240 volts or output to that, um, which means that we can utilize it for 240 volt stuff like the mini splits, the CNC, the, uh, the table saw, that kind of thing, as well as just like all regular 120 volt you know, outlets and things like that. So the batteries, 48 volt batteries, something to take into account when you set up the system. They need at least 48 volts. Solar panels are 30 volts. So anyway, they would come into here, the power would come in here and then be stored in here. This would not be connected to the grid. This would be all like a tinkerer's solar battery system. Um, it would be internal. Very last hole to dig. So half of the structure is gonna have the little house, the little hobbit house, right? Now the other half here is going to be open. So we're gonna add gravel to this area um, and then you know, utilize it as a shaded spot that you can use, you know, put a bistro table under or something. And this little like area right here also gravel so that we could put some planters, like a little garden, um, that kind of thing, kind of an extension of the space, but in the sun. And then you can walk in here to enter the house. Of course, these, these sides here are going to be open too. So just open, 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 kind of like a pergola. Now the other thing we are having here too is a garden shed structure. Okay, so might as well take advantage of this rather large area. So we're going to use two feet in here on this whole area. Um, there's going to be a wall and doors and a bit of a, a garden shed for garden tools. So it's gonna cut in a little bit on the footprint of this, this structure, but not too much. Now the one thing, um, it's in the afternoon here now, we have about half sun, half shade. Um, so it's not ideal in the sense of, of location for sun. Uh, eventually if we take down a couple trees here, that would improve dr drastically. So that's something for the future. But this property here slopes down a little bit on that side. So now we need to create an even, <laughs> a level roofing structure, right? So we measured out here, here, that point right there is level <laughs> to this section up here. So these were all the same height posts coming in the ground. So added a little bit of length on this post and we'll add a little bit and a little bit less and then start removing some so that they are equal in height. The same thing on this side. Now this is the angle and this is how it will be constructed with one two by four on each side. So securing the joists here and see those concrete blocks? Well, we have seven of them all together and these blocks will be spaced apart in this area and provide support to the flooring structure. So the joists will rest on those. Um, and that way we won't have any of the wood contacting the ground directly. Just 
kind of looking at this, they're starting to take shape a little bit now, but <laughs> I was thinking this would be a nice little deck area, right? I mean, that's, that's what we're doing here. It's kind of like a deck and a pergola in one. Let's continue putting these joists in. So screwing these in right now with screws, but also going to um, add some galvanized nails or something, because nails are so much stronger than, than screws, right? We're also going to add more supports um, in between two, so there will be supports in that direction as well. So like I was just thinking about the house, because initially when I was, and we had the posts up here, I was like, oh, this is going to be pretty big inside. And now I'm thinking, yeah, it is going to be pretty big, but it's going to shrink, the, the height is going to shrink tri quite dramatically, which makes it a little cozier. I mean, it's, it's a kid's house, it's a hobbit's house, right? So it's not supposed to be like, but it's still more substantial than like a tree house or um, like a play house. The reason why I want to make this more substantial and secured is I, I, I want it to be sealed. So you don't, you know, open the door and there's a snake waiting inside or there's bugs coming in and things like that. So it's a little safer. We have snakes here. <laughs> so. I just had a friend DM me about the ideal angle uh, that the solar panels should be on in this situation. And I guess the thing to, to, uh, to recognize is that nothing about this situation is perfectly ideal. We're trying to just kind of fit a lot of different aspects together in a reasonable way. Like ideally, in an, <laughs> the angle should be a little bit steeper to get a perfect sun. But, we're not going to get perfect sun. We're not going to get perfect sun in terms of hours or angle, but I'm kind of choosing to look at it as better than nothing. We're going to get something and we're going to fill that battery bank up. And so that's kind of cool. Right now though, what I'm really interested in, in is this little house. I think this little house is going to be so cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now this gives a nice amount of extra support on all of this, more than just, you know, nails, so it's resting on. Okay, so here we have quite the, the difference, and we'll just kind of... Okay, so kind of a nice compressed fit. These are exterior 16 penny nails. So we've got some weed barrier, landscape fabric. I'm gonna put that down everywhere now. Okay, we got all the filter fabric down and just adding some cross supports now in between. So this section right here is actually going to be a garden shed area and there's not gonna be a floor that you need to be able to like stand on right here up to this joist. And then here, this is the area where you actually will walk. Kind of an interesting backyard feature where you incorporate using the solar panels, getting them up, actually getting to use them, funneling that energy into the workshop, and then also getting um, a little house, <laughs> a little hobbit house. Yeah, I think it's gonna be it. So just working on finishing up the cross sections here. We've got some more cross sections there too for additional support. And then after that, bring these up so that they connect here, so that they provide support. And then after that, we can start working on insulation, OSB, and then the walls. That's for next time.